today I have the Game & Watch Legend of Zelda. This came out just recently, November 12, 2021. Literally, like a day before, one year before the uh, Mystic Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. Edition. So, let's just take a look at it. We'll do, we'll take a look at it with the casing on, the casing off, the box and everything, and then we'll do a comparison, and then we'll actually, you know, boot it up and see how it is. Box. Uh, got a nice display of what you're going to be getting in the box. Just the uh, game. The other accessories are in the other side. Uh, so we, at the back of it tells you what games you're getting. You're getting the original Legend of Zelda. You're getting Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. That's Zelda 2 for the, for the regular Nintendo. This is the Game Boy Legend of Zelda Link's Adventure. That was uh, remade recently. Uh, you get a nice little... Uh, game inside of it that was one of the original uh, kind of game of watch things, but they tailor it for uh, Link instead. Uh, you get one display of the one display time of the Legend of Zelda for Nintendo, the first one, and then you get another display for the Legend of Zelda 2 Link's Adventure. So that's se that's actually uh, separated. So as you can see, it's just like a the Mario one, it's a nice little overlay. Get a uh, nice little look. All the uh, the monsters from the very first Zelda, the land display, and everything else. And it continues on the side too here, as you can see. And the back. And the box is just the same as before. Details and everything else, nothing special. So, let's uh, do a little comparison of the Legend of Zelda and the Super Mario Bros. Uh, as you can see, they're both the, just about the same. The back just tells you everything else. There's little overlays. And at the sides, it gives you nice little details of the, uh, the enemies in the game. And, you know, highlights of Mario Bros. in red and Zelda in green. Let's take apart. Let's actually look at the overlays to it. As you can see, the overlays are the same. Nothing different. So now let's actually unbox the link one. Box this and see what we get. Out of the box, you just get the usual manual, and you get a nice uh, display of the Triforce. Nice little box. Uh, something I didn't even notice. This actually comes with a little kickstand for it. So you can actually take this piece out here and create a nice kickstand for it. So, if you want, you can display it like that. <laughs> Sorry. You can take it out of the package, and you'll be able to display with the Triforce and everything else. So that's actually a very nice touch to it. So, uh, now let's boot it up. That's actually very nice. It gives you a nice little picture of uh, Link, Hyrule. And it says to press the time button, so. It's actually nice. It's actually playing the, the game for you. So now let's just press time. So let's just press game instead. Okay, so now if you press the game button, it shows you the three games. And it gives you a display of it in English or Japanese. You get the three games. You get the other Game of Watch inspired link type of uh, mini game type of thing. 
and of course the time. So let's actually press A and set the time. Actually, no, I actually set a timer. Okay. So now let's actually go back and press time. And let's hold down time and see if anything happens. Nothing really. So there's a pause in set. So let's hold down that and set. So we can now go down and set the time. Now we set the time. The comparison to the Super Mario one and the Le and the Zelda one, really just about the exact same thing. Nothing really different. Just instead of red, it's green. They move the power a little bit. They move the uh, outlet for the power a little bit further down compared to the other one. Just by a little, not by much. And instead it has the uh, little Triforce there. And this one really has nothing. I figured they would have put a star or a mushroom or something like that, but whatever. See, so it's really nothing different, all the same. Actually, you know, play a little bit of Legend of Zelda. The game. Fairy tells you what you want as usual, and we'll just play the original Legend of Zelda just to get a base of what we're doing. Oops, so let's just see if we can figure out a way to go back. Oops, no that <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll just keep the name like that. That's a little mistake, but oh well. Sounds very nice and very loud too, so... Control seems to be very responsive, you know. Let's try the next Zelda. Now let's look and see, there's not really a volume button here, so I can't really tell you how to raise or lower the volume, I think it's just set to that one, you know, setting. But this is a very nice pocket size nostalgia trip, you know.
Sometimes you're just gonna run into nothing when you run into a monster. Alright, so let's try the next one. Let's try the next game. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the last one, which is the game I watched. It's basically a very. just like a, uh, a whack a mole type of thing. can control it with the control pad or just use A and B and as you can see it starts to get a little faster Oop. Right. let's try that again but let's try oops see you can actually you actually have save state, so you can actually just go back into the game right from where you left off. So that's pretty good. Just have to use, press the game button and go right back into where you just left off. So you can actually press the pause button. Oh, you can change the volume right there from the pause button. <laughs> Make it louder or softer or just increase the brightness too. Remember, if you increase the brightness, you're probably going to drain the battery a little bit faster. And you can just reset the game. So let's go to B. And let's go to time. Let's see what we get. So as usual, time is just that. During time, you can actually play it too. I thought it was just kind of auto playing itself, but you can actually play this. It actually has two displays one, if you press the time, it brings you to this. The other one is that if you press the game button and you press time, it'll bring you to that. Where it actually is like a little game you can actually play, but if you leave it alone, it, it auto plays itself. It just spawns random, like, you know, bosses in the game, so that's actually pretty cool. But this time is actually a timer, so when you click on that, it's actually a timer. I thought it was just time, and it was just saying timer, like, oh yeah, it just do that but no this is actually a timer and you could just reset it you could set the timer for as long as you want let's see what's the max you could set it for 10 minutes so 10 minutes is actually you all you can set it to uh, select the stage uh, looks like you can only do the the, Zel the uh, Zelda 2 stages. So, let's actually do that. Do 10 minutes and start. 
And there it goes. It just auto goes on its own. Uh, Game and Watch Edition. It's actually very nice, very comfortable in the hands. The menu is very easy to navigate. The save states are very nice, you know, one for each game that you're playing. So that way you just switch between whatever you want or hope. If the game actually, you know, if you run out of power and it turns itself off, it's able to, you know, at least hold that state for, hold that state until you come back. Uh, very great display, you know, like you could see, it's very easy to display. Uh, very nice, and the uh, the timer I have on right now is just to display the game playing. You can also put on the regular, you know, time like this, and it does that. It displays the regular time that it is right now and everything else. So, very great buy. Uh, if you can find it, you can pick it up. It's usually about like about 50 bucks. If you pick it up, it's well worth it to you know, have a nice display of it in your house and everything else. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thanks. Have a great day.